Hi, Mark Simmons with JM PC Experts, and today we are going to go. I have a quick video showing you how to remotely connect to your smartphone or tablet. Uh, this is also how we do it to test the device. Like if we need to test the smartphone uh, or tablet remotely, um, and you can you can do this from a Windows PC, laptop, or a Mac. You can also do it from another smartphone or tablet. And I have already added my tablet to my account with TeamViewer. Uh, this is the software we're going to be using where you see Samsung Tab 2. But you just go to your App Store or Play Store and download and install TeamViewer Quick Support and install it on the phone and then when it, you open the app it will provide you with the ID number which is this right here. You need to put that in there and hit connect to partner um, but I've already added it so we're just going to double click and I'm going to show you what you see. Now this doesn't actually control the phone, uh, but on the smartphone or tablet, the person will, or you will have to click allow. Then once they do that, you'll be you'll see this screen, and you can chat with. If you're helping somebody, you can chat with them. Shows you the CPU is at 83 percent. The RAM is at 92 percent. Shows that I have half of the hard drive space left. Shows I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, the IP address, the MAC address, the Bluetooth's on. It just basically gives you all the information about the device. We can see that we're running Android 4.2.2 uh, and the tablet just went in idle mode so you can see this, this CPU going down. A resolution that's in English. You can request a screenshot if I click on this It'll direct my tablet to do a screenshot. These are all the apps that are installed, and you can uninstall them simply by, like, to say this AMC Mobile. I want to remove that. I hit uninstall, and on the device, they'll have to hit OK, allowing that, because you can't make any changes to the device without the person at the device authorizing it. And you can go to processes, you can see all the running processes, and you can stop them. And then the settings of the phone, uh, right now it's just on, on this device, it's just the Wi-Fi. And then a system log. And you can go through and view the system log. And you can also do a file transfer. Like, let's say, this is my computer here, this is the device. Let's say that I want to send this device a document. Um, let's say this document here, and I'll do the document folder and send. And as you see, it doesn't take long at all to send it. Uh, and then the user will be notified that we sent them a document and likewise you cannot take any files from that device without notif without it notifying the tablet or the smartphone which I think that's that's awesome because then the user of the smartphone or tablet knows what you're doing at every every second this is the software that we use for our remote support and it's also the software that we use for um, testing and repairing mobile devices and if you install uh, if you install team viewer on your computer or your Mac or your smartphone or tablet then all you need to do is have the other person or the other device install quick support that's the important thing to remember is that there's two different programs here but they work in unison you have the actual team viewer software 
which is what you need to initiate the remote support. And then quick support is the file that you need so that the two can communicate. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. I hope this has been useful to some of you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.